party team helper here. I'm going to show you how to create your own icons for games. So, uh, well, it's going to be wine skin, but I'm, I'm, I'm too easy to, you know, create a wrapper right now. So it's going to take a while. So I'm just going to use this as an example. Don't worry. I'll, I'm going to make one anyways. So let's say, you know, it's a DOS, DOS, DOS game. So it's called body count. It's pretty good game. It's pretty good game, but I, I need to figure out how to exit. Anyway, so this is how to use it with preview, but with preview, you cannot use 3D effects or nothing like that because I don't have Photoshop and I'm too lazy to download it also. Just preview, you know, it's going to be plain and simple like this, how you see there's like no shadows on the bottom. It's not going to be something like realistic like that, but it still looks pretty good. It still pretty looks pretty decent without the 3D effects or something like that. So, uh, for the PNG, I'll put the link in the description but which you're gonna click on it it's gonna be a, a picture like this and then you're gonna need to right click and it's gonna say save image as and save the destination to your to your desktop and it should look so look like this but okay uh, okay so for the game you're gonna need to go to Google the game picture google.com I go to Google Images, whatever game it is, you can type it in if it's uh, uh, like Alan Wake or uh, Doom, whatever, just search it up. But mine's gonna be body, body Count, so Body Count DOS. You don't need to put DOS in the end, but Body Count's a DOS game, so that's why I put DOS in the end. Okay, so let's say just this one looks pretty decent. Look for a decent, a decent one. Uh, save image as make sure it says where at desktop that's what you're gonna do uh, so yeah once you have it onto your desktop make sure it's like this what you're gonna do is open it it's gonna be automatically open to preview if it doesn't you need to right click open with preview like that preview default so you're gonna want to resize it to see that right here, I'm gonna click on it and click elliptical because you're gonna want it circle, a circle icon. So then you, next you're gonna want to do is make sure don't go like this all the way because then it's gonna be like a square box. You know, like you can see the outline, outlines on the circles, but I don't know if you can see it from here. But it's gonna be a square box. That's why it's bad to do that. Okay, let me just all right, all right. Just make sure it's a circle. I want to resize it till it actually fits the whole screen. Like that kind of. And then uh, to test to see how it looks like, you can command C to copy it. Well not to look like, but just to copy it. Just command C. Then you're gonna want to open the shell, the blank shell. Don't worry, I'll remember I put the link in the description. So you can right click, save as you know, save as image as, and then pl place it to your desktop, and you can open it from there. So then you're gonna click on this, and then Command V, and it'll, pa it'll paste it onto here. So you're gonna want to resize it till it fills up here. Do not put it exactly, cause once you hit outside, it's gonna go small, like I don't know, an inch smaller. So, and then you'll see the gray outlines, which makes it look pretty ugly. So, I'm gonna put it a little bit over the white lines. You see, like, how it was? You see, rewind the video, you'll see the difference right here. But I'm not gonna bother resizing it, but yeah, this is how you create an image. And then after that, you wanna do the elliptical again. Make sure it fills it up. Fills up the circle. And this one doesn't do the inch smaller thingy. Just, I don't know, it doesn't have to be perfect, but, you know, close enough. Command V, and uh, Command C. You can now exit both of these, don't save. Make sure you don't put don't save on this one, and then, because you, you're going to want to keep it blank, so make sure you don't you click don't save. Then, for replacing the image, you're going to want to right click, get info. It'll take a while to go back, get up. 
and the info and then you're gonna want to click on this little icon right here then hit command V and it replaces with the one you had before and then that's how you get it double click on it to launch it I, I'm still trying to figure out how to exit so I'm not gonna bother playing it but yeah if you double click on it it automatically launches the game which is helpful for your wine skin Thank you for watching. This is Demon Days One for PortingTeam.com. Hope you guys enjoy the website. I'm looking forward to help people a lot more.